Hello there, how are you doing? I love over the top over the blonde music. If there is one thing that is true in this world is that one of the most over the top music genres ever is progressive rock. It apparently started as an attempt to give credibility to rock music by including western classical music and jazz influences and then it just went completely bananas. This album, this, this album, this album is one of those Schrodinger type of situations that it was someone saying this is dumb, and, in Western, and they were trying to satirize something, but in their attempt to satirize something, they just got the point exactly and so perfectly. Yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. I need to listen to more records of this band. With these groups that have been for so long, you just get option paralysis sometimes. But what I'm trying to say today is that I love progressive rock. Don't pay attention to the name, it's a very dumb name, as most music genre names are. But I love the virtuosity, I love the multi-layer multi -layer harmonies, the time signature changes, the multi-section songs. I love everything about it. And Thick as a Brick is the album that, if you aren't really familiar with the genre, is the one I want you to listen first. This record is perfect. This record is perfect. It doesn't have a song with multiple sections. It has a song that evolves and fragments itself in infinitesimal durations of the same song that seem to go on forever and forever and it's just incredibly mind-boggling you might be asking me why why so much i don't get this this is just so much i, I can't really even remember most of the music here i just want a catchy song that identifies me and helps me understand my feelings I and mean, it's true it's true, this is too much. This is too much. Most of the time, it is always too much. But but here's the thing. I just have an incredible hunger. An unquabulant thirst that doesn't seem to be able to be satiated with nothing. My being, my soul, my core. It always asks for more and more and more. And it's only music genres like progressive rock that only get so close to feel like they're feeling me at all. What an album like this teaches you in regards to limitations is incredibly eye-opening. People say, make music any way you want. So I try and I'm like... And it just feels like firing all of the neurons of your brain at the same time. And you know, that's, that is usually not a good thing. You need limits to make things sense. and. The way that this album, the way that this genre approaches limits, it's a way that makes sense to me. Tikka Sabrik is one of those records that inspires me to make music. You know, once I get over my traumas and all that stuff. Just incredibly impressive all the colors and all the shapes that you can get in this album without it spilling over the outline of the music. It has a design. No, 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 no. I always tell myself that if I do not a punchline, people are going to get worried over my enthusiasm. And I always forget. You know what? You know what? You know how does this record feel like? It feels something like this. Like this. And it's neat. Jesus Christ, I did it again. When, when when stuff like this happens, when stuff like this happens, you know you had fun. <laughs> but you know, this record, this record, this album, Take Us a Brick, Take Us a Brick by Jethro Toe, is a kaleidoscope. If there is an album deserving of such a rating, is this one. The instrumentation is flush, buried, filled with so many beautiful sounds. The vocals are characteristic, memorable. The melodies are so full of life and they fill you with this sense of adventure. Sometimes they can be adventurous, sometimes they can be mysterious, sometimes they can be plain scary or surreal. Everything, 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 everything is in this record. Everything is in this record. God damn, what a great album. You know what? You know, you know what? You know what? Re you know what? Review is over. Go listen to it. Just go listen to it. This is done. This is done. God damn. God damn. You know, the consequences of excess are rarely ever spareful. But that doesn't mean they aren't worth it.